So I want to talk a little bit about server rendering and how that interacts with global state in your Nuxt application. So let's create a new Nuxt application. Let's open the app. And we'll start our dev server. Okay. Now in a Nuxt application, you might have a global state. You might implement that with Pinia, or you might use Nuxt's own use state composable. It doesn't really make a difference to what I'm talking about. Today we'll create a, a composable and we'll use Nuxt's built-in use state. So this store is shared globally across the app and it defaults to logged in false. Now we need to use it in our app. So we'll have a page. And in this case, I'm gonna create a nested page just to make it really clear what's happening. So we have a parent page and this parent page has a child. So in Nuxt, you can have a nested root like this. When you create a file, with the same name as the directory, and the directory can have a child. So when we access parent slash child, it will render the parent as a frame, and then inside we'll render the child. So if I were to open this in the browser, we should see parent and child being rendered as we expect. And now imagine each of these pages uses the state. So we have in our child page, a call to use my store. In the child, we'll access store logged in and we'll also set it. And the parent, we'll just access it. Now, this might be a normal use pattern for you. You might not set it explicitly. You might call an action on the store that ends up making a change to the store state. Now, in a normal view client-side rendered application, or in a next app if you set SSR false, or if you're just navigating to this page on the client side, Everything works well. We have parent true, child true. They're in sync. But there's a gotcha if you're doing server-side rendering, whether that's with Nuxt or with Vue. And that is when you perform a request, Vue renders your application from the top down to a string. It's not reactive. So when we hit the parent, we first execute the script function and get the store. And the store returns logged in false at this point. So we render this to string div parent false. And then we start rendering the child. We open the child and we execute the setup function. This time we set logged in true. And then we render the child to string div child true. Now, if we load that in the console, we should see parent false child true, which is maybe not what you expect, but is absolutely what we would expect for server-side rendering logic. If you open that in the browser, you'll see there's a flash as false is replaced with true. And you should see, if you look in the browser console, that there's a hydration error. Why is that happening? Well, what's happening is that when you fetch that data, the parent is false, the child sets the value to true, and then Nuxt passes the state to the client. So you can actually see we have my store, and it has logged in, and logged in is set to true by this point. So on the client side, 
we load the parent one more time. By this time, stored logged in is true. And so there's a mismatch. The child hydrates fine because store logged in, it, it expects to be true, but the parent, the server rendered false and the client knows that it's true. So that's why we get this hydration error. Well, if you're using a global state, it's really important that you don't change that state midway through rendering your page on the server, particularly if that would change some other component which has already been rendered by this point. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll do my best to get back to you.